Welcome to my Premier League 2021 2022 predictions. Straight into it, 20th place, Watford. Just not good enough. They're still relying on Troy Deeney after all these years. I mean, they've got Sar and other good players, but they're just not good enough. Norwich in 19th. Well, Billy Gilmore's a good loan signing, uh, but I don't think they're going to have enough to stay up. Going into 18th and 17th. I've got Brentford just escaping. I've got Burnley going down just because that Brexit ball, I want them down. And I think Eve Antoni will just score enough to keep Brentford up. So let's run through the mid-table teams now. 16th Brighton. I always say they play too good of a round of football to go down. But they got a fifth last season on XG, but they just don't have a striker and they haven't signed one yet. So I've got them uh, down at 16th. 15th Southampton. Losing Danny Ings is massive and they could really struggle. But getting in Bro, John Livermento from Chelsea alone, I think will be enough to keep them up. 14th Palace. Vieira, it could be a sticky one. I mean, I could see him going early, um, but the players they have, even if they do get another manager in, should be able to bounce back. Um, 13th, we've got Newcastle. Son and Willock's huge. Uh, I don't like Steve Bruce as a manager. I think he's awful, so I wouldn't be surprised if I saw him flirting with relegation. But 12th, we've got Wolves, just mid-table Wolves. I can't see him doing too much. Hopefully Jimenez is back to his best. 11th, Everton. Losing Carlo, obviously a big loss, and I just don't think they'll be all that this season. 10th, West Ham, they've got Europe now, so I don't think they'll do as well as they did last season, which was really good. Probably exceeded expectations of many. 9th, we've got Spurs. It looks like City are preparing a bid for Kane, so if they lose him, with Nuno, not the most expansive manager in the world, I think, yeah, ninth's about right for Spurs. The two teams that are missing out on Europe, well, I don't count the Conference League as Europe, but 8th place, I've got Leeds. Uh, I just think another year under the belt with Bielsa, they haven't signed anyone, but just a team unit E. Like, just a bit stronger. Not only that, the scheduling, they're not playing every three days anymore. So for Leeds' is high-octane football, a normal schedule, I think that would be, mean they can go 110% more often. So, yeah, seventh, eight for them, sorry. Seventh, though, Aston Villa. I mean, Leon Bailey, Emmy Brendia, Danny Yings. You mean, Dean Smith, good manager, already got a good crop of players. Um, and, yeah, I can just see them doing really well. No losing Grealish is massive, but I feel like they've brought well enough. To fight maybe for top six. Two European teams now. Arsenal sixth, Leicester fifth. Arsenal's case, I mean, they were linked to everyone at the start of the window. And it's just uninspiring at the moment. Ramsdale, Ben White, Laconga. I don't know if Ramsdale was uh, confirmed yet. But it just, it's not what I expected from them. And maybe if they can sign like one or two creative players, maybe you can see them pushing for fourth, fifth. But I just can't see it. Uh, I don't think Arteta's also good enough, really. Um, fifth place, Leicester, I just think they're going to miss out on top four again. You know, they've signed uh, Dakar to score goals with Iheanacho and Vardy, but I just just think they'll miss out again. I just, yeah, I just think them being in Europe is just going to be too much of a strain on their team. Uh, Fafana's out as well. Uh, I don't know how long Justin is until Justin's back. So, yeah, they've got a few problems here and there, but fifth for Leicester. Fourth, Liverpool. I don't think Canate's enough. Losing Ryan Adams, semi-big loss. Uh, Van Dijk looked shaky pre-season. It's going to take him a while to get back to his best. Relying on the same front three. Just, I don't think they're going to do it, mate. Uh, third, United. Uh, I don't think is good enough to win the league. Their starting eleven can pretty much rival anyone. I think if they get a DM, uh, they could go up a position or two. Second place, I've got Chelsea. I think Lukaku's massive could go for a golden boot because we created so many chances uh, since Tuchel came in last season, just no one to finish them. But City, they will win the league. Um, yeah, if they do get Kane, I think they'll win the league at least. I think if they don't, you've got half a chance. Um, but yeah, over the season, they're just going to be more consistent. They break down low blocks better than we do. And yeah, I just think over the course of the season, they're more consistent. And yeah, City will win the Premier League.